Sometimes carved on buildings, over doors. Let's have a look, see if there's one on this door. Hattie, come. Come along, love. Sit, Hattie. Sit. Nope. No date up there. We'll have to look somewhere else. Can't be the dovecot, because I know for a fact that this was built ooh, well over 400 years ago, about the same time as the old manor house that stood there, the other side of the green court. But this was very important to the manor house. Nowadays we eat chicken, but the lord of the manor used to keep doves in here for food. We don't know quite how many. Could have been as many as 2,000 birds. And each pair would lay in one of these nesting boxes two eggs, and they'd be hatched out. And the babies, which are called squabs, when they were about a month old, were nice and fat, then they'd be taken to the kitchen for food. And by that time, the mother bird would have laid another two eggs. But now, there's nothing in here at all. All these nest boxes on all these four walls, all 890 boxes, apart from the old wild pigeon who comes in, no eggs at all. Come, Hattie. Hattie, come. So that's the mysterious dovecot. In fact, this whole farmyard is a bit odd, but it's all deserted. Over there are the pigsties, but no pigs. Lettuce the lamb stays in number eight sometimes. And up there, the milking parlour. No cows. And round here, set in the wall, is a great cast iron door with a capital D on it. There it is. The D, behind it, there's a long, dark tunnel. I've never been inside here. I'm scared of places like this. But my brother did once. He went a long, long way in till he couldn't get any further because it was all filled up with drainage water. Nobody knows quite what it was used for. Perhaps the Lord of the Manor sent his servants all the way down this tunnel to the dovecot to fetch the squabs back. Mysterious door with a D on it. There's still no date, still no sign of Pobs 1857. So on we go. I call this Poison Ivy Lodge. This is where the lodge keeper used to live. It's been empty now for a long, long time. I don't know why I call it Poison Ivy Lodge, because this isn't Poison Ivy at all. It's Virginia Creeper. So that's good, isn't it? Because it's a bit of a creepy sort of place. And I suddenly got a feeling that Pop might be being a bit sneaky, you know. I wonder if there could be a date over that door. I'll just go and get a ladder.
Oh, Popscott. Something to answer for. This is a very heavy ladder. And I am frightened of heights. So I'm being very brave. Yes, there is a date there. 1800, 1-8. And that looks like a five. It's very worn. 1857. 1857. That's the date we're looking for. We found it and I found something else too. Some of Tom's wool. Here we are. There's some more of it. Red and yellow wool. That's the way hat. Let's see where it goes to. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this hatty. This is an abacus. It's a thing they used to count on long before anybody thought about electronic calculators. I'll show you, look. One. Mind that hat, you're not helping a bit. Eight. Five. Hattie. Eighteen hundred and fifty. Seven. How about that? Well, how many gateways I've been through today? Let's think. Uh, one, two, three. Ah. 